Yo, what's up? <sighs> My hand. <coughs> I'm having a cough attack. Jesus. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel where I talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content. Today, we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you guys should know what this is because I did a little preview of what it was uh, gonna be. So let's just go ahead and just get right down to it because it's very dark but amazing but also scary but cool replica so I got my trusty knife here click it clicked it means we're getting down to business all right so as you guys see on my Instagram I actually asked what you guys think this is and can you believe someone said some keychains but I know they were just joking but this is an amazing prop. I only bought this specifically because some of my collector friends told me that it could be discontinued in the future. We just don't know when. And obviously I have to get anything discontinued because it will be discontinued. And that way I'm able to buy it now than never or have to buy it later on for triple its price. So I'm very glad that Amazon had this um, and it got here in two days so I can't even complain. But as a sneak peek, aside from obviously the thumbnail that you guys probably already saw, aside from that, I have my Dementor shirt here with me because it's a very dark item from the darkest family or secretive family, I guess. Uh, so let's just stop the talking because I'm just babbling on at this point. But let's go ahead and just jump right into it and just see what it looks like. I'm going to give you guys an up close look. I really don't want to crack it or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys an up close look if the camera uh, can't capture like a beauty from here. And as you guys should know, this is a Noble Collection piece. So with every Noble Collection piece that I get, you guys should have already seen or known that a little handbook is gonna come out like you see here. This is just a handbook basically stating everything that the... Oh wait, what the heck? I just saw something new. Okay, here it is. It's just the Weasley's Wizard Weezes bookends that you guys saw me unbox here in my previous video. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I haven't seen anything else that changes. All right, so again, to the trash. I have like 50 of these. Alrighty. Uh, unfortunately, this does not come with the Noble Collection box. As you can see, it's just a white box. It's a box inside, or a styrofoam box inside of a box. Every time I'm opening like boxes and stuff like that, I always think about the scene of where Harry's opening the book and the freaking face pops up. Oh my god! Salt, or whatever the heck these are. Silica gel. It's not salt. Don't eat it. Oh my god! And you. They're so. It's a big stick. Okay, so. Unraveling its mask. Oh my god! This is so cool. Let me just stop right here. All right, so this is the cane in all its beauty. The cane. Honestly, could care less about the cane. Um, I actually would have bought this a long time ago if it was just the wand itself. I like didn't want to buy it because it was a cane. But, oh, dude, this is, like I said, guys, I've been wanting to get this forever now. This is easily the heaviest wand in the wizarding world. This is the wand. I don't know if you guys could be able to see it, but I shall show you this a little bit closer. Maybe it's catching it, I have no idea. But I will show you guys a little closer. I'm actually gonna stand up and see how tall this thing is. I'm about 5'10", 5'11". So 
this will give you an estimate of how tall this thing is. I don't know if I'm even gonna be in this. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Oh my god. Okay, so it's definitely like, I would say, I have no idea, but it's like a little bit over my belly button. My belly button is like right here. So I guess like right here, like abdomen size. I don't know the exact size because it doesn't really show. I would have to go on the Noble Collection website to check out its official size. But I wanted to just, I guess, is it like magnetized? Like, it is, it's magnetized. It's magnetized. All right, awesome, awesome. Because, not that I'm like a magnet wizard or a magnet like nerd but this is perfect because i wanted to like put it on the top top shelf like on top of the top shelf and like kind of like put it like in an l-shaped screw like on each side and just have it like on the wall like that um just because i just because i don't really have a shelf or anything like that to fit this in and i still want it to be part of the collection dude this is so cool the eyes are like emerald green, which is super cool. I just gotta show you guys this, but nonetheless, like, it's just super cool. And then, Avadakadabra. That was not the spell I was hoping to make, but I don't know. I think this wand and this cane just brings out the Death Eater in me. This is so cool. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys really up close so that way you guys can see like in detail and how awesome this looks because it looks awesome. Tell me that I isn't gorgeous. And then like the back has like these little, like I don't even know, like dots, but like they complement your hand in a sense, like I guess grip. And then these are like little bumps. I have no idea. I, I'm like horrible. I like analogies and stuff like that. But nonetheless, look at the head. How like it curves right here, like an actual snake. The teeth. Look. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. You can probably see the reflection. But look at that. It even has like a little hole for his tongue. And then check out the, the magnetized thing. You saw that? Awesome. This will actually like be perfect for my size. But it feels like, aside from the wand, because the wand looks gorgeous and it's very sturdy. Aside from that, because like, you can, I can feel it. You can feel it's very sturdy. Like, in every video that I do, like, that is like, I guess like the, the test to show you that it's heavy. Um, this isn't that heavy. This just has like a little metal thing on the tip to make that sound. But it's super light. It's actually lighter than this, if you can believe it. So, but I did see that it is a little chip. They did put like, a, I guess a little powder inside to make it, you know, like, come in and out easily. But nonetheless, it's amazing. It's an amazing prop replica. The details on it is amazing. Uh, so yeah, like my plan is to just put it on the top shelf and put it like a samurai sword type of vibe where it's like hanging because I don't really have like a longer, another like version or idea. If you guys do have any idea of where to put this, definitely let me know because this I just feel so badass just holding this just like but if you guys have any ideas of what to do with this, um, I'm not giving it away so don't even come to me with that answer to give it away. Um, but any other answers will do. But that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys loved it, go ahead and hit that like down below. 
If you guys are new here, talk about everything Harry Potter and theme park related content. And without further ado, I'll see you guys on the next video. I've had a cadaver!